Hey Ryan with Shootwise. Today we're going to do a disassemble and reassemble of the Keltec RFB. Uh, this is a 308 bolt bulb firearm. We're going to disassemble, put it back together. First thing we're going to do is make sure the gun's unloaded. So we're going to lock the bolt back, remove the magazine. All right. Now we're in the chamber. Now we're going to allow the bolt to go back forward. All right. Now at this point, there are four pins. You have one here, one here, one right there, and one in the front here. Uh, we're going to use a 308 projectile to push those up. You can use a Glock tool, screwdriver, punch, uh, whatever's handier. So we're going to push those forward. Alright, now we're going to rotate the gun over. As you can see, the pins are starting to come out at this point. Now we're just going to pull them the rest of the way. They're going to lock into place. Alright, all four pins are locked out. Now we're going to rotate the polymer section of the firearm out. You just got to move it around a little bit. Now the tricky part is the hammer is back here in this section and you got to rotate that out. So I find it's easier to start from the front to rotate it outward. can look inside of here this is the trigger assembly this is the hammer I was telling you about there's a groove here that the hammer slides into and uh, you just got to loop that in and loop it out uh, when you disassemble the firearm the hammer is in the back position or the cock position uh, it's not been fired uh, that's the way you're gonna want to have that when you disassemble and reassemble the firearm move to the barrel slash action slash bolt carrier this is gonna be uh, three major parts here that that's gonna come apart uh, so first we're gonna slide the barrel out this is the uh, cheek piece that you uh, rest your cheek on while you're firing the firearm this uh, is gonna rest against this sheet of metal and also the bolt carrier and then you have the chamber uh, this is where the takedown pins go uh, on the two in the rear and then you got two on the forearm which uh, those are going to go right here the front and that's a lug on the barrel there all right now we're going to uh, slide the bolt carrier up you're going to want to remove the charging handle at this point. That's just uh, tension held in by this little uh, spring-loaded sheet metal piece here. Alright, now at this point the bolt carrier is going to slide backwards. That's going to be out of the barrel action. And there's your bolt carrier there. Got two extractors. Two extractors on that. Uh, the bolt, as you can see, it's like a gold color. That's a uh, a titanium coating that they put on there. Uh, it makes it easier to clean and also makes the bolt uh, stronger. And here's your barrel and your action. Uh, you notice this little tray right here or uh, bent piece of sheet metal that's on top. 
that's actually the track that the empty casings ride in and then they'll come all the way up to the front here and they're going to slide out uh, that's your piston right here uh, it's adjustable you just uh, rotate it you can use a uh, projectile just insert it and uh, rotate All right, now we're going to reverse that process. Uh, we're going to take the bolt carrier here. Uh, notice that there's some grooves on the bolt carrier right here. There's also a groove cut into the action. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera in focus here. But there's uh, grooves on both sides that that bolt carrier is going to slide into. You want to make sure you line that up. When you slide it back on, all right. At this point, this is when you're going to line up those uh, two grooves I was telling you about. Now they're lined up. Might be able to see better right here. All right, so the action is back together. You got the bolt and you have the barrel and the action there. Now we're gonna put the rear part or the, the stock back on. That goes on the top. It slides down, lines up with these holes here. All right, uh, this is your charging handle. Now, if you're left-handed, you put it on the opposite side, or if you're right-handed, I just put it back on your left side, and that just snaps right in. All right, I want to make sure everything's seated in place so that your pins line back up when you rotate in the trigger assembly. And start from the back with the hammer. Slide that in. All right, you're gonna start pushing everything down slowly. Right. Uh, now at this point you're going to start pushing your pins in once you get them lined up. Uh, you might have to push down on the barrel and the stock to get things to start to line up. Guns fully assembled. I think we're good. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this is helpful. If you ever want to disassemble or reassemble your RFB, uh, also uh, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and if you have any questions, uh, just comment below. And you can also subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks a lot.